All right, guys, this is going to be a reading for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Uh, cross watchers, you know, you're always welcome here. Guys, let's begin. I have done, I uh, shuffled your cards. There's something you aren't sure of. When it comes to a partnership, you're trying to use your intuition. Um, but there's something written in the cards that you're going to receive victory. It, you, this is unseen. This could be the mother of your children. Uh, when it comes to um, maybe your relationship or her being single and doing it for herself. Um, let's see. Or vice versa. But this is nurture. It's a nurturing energy. The stability comes in when you actually take the um, the initiative. Because y'all have been having problems. Yeah, you've been waiting on manifestation. Um, maybe from a third party. Maybe they're building. They're doing something. Um... They could be in school, but communication's coming in that they want a, uh, I want to say like a spring break. They want to go on spring break with you. Hmm. But let's see. I know that your heart's been broken and you have been trying to deal with this, Pisces, uh, Holding on to this um, movement towards healing has definitely tested your patience, wisdom, experience, knowledge, everything. Uh, you know, it's like exalted. So I see that um, when this stuff Cindy comes in, it's going to be like a breath of fresh air that is like unseen. Okay, which is going to make you see that you have been progressing you have been doing your part when it comes to your finding I really don't think that this person would come in at all because you're about to get communication okay from somebody you was waiting on in the past that you have been doing work whether it was patience diligence uh, creating some it doesn't matter you have provided what this person needed and now this person's ready to take the initiative okay you have been manifesting learning how to proceed through life what okay let's see Beyond Lemuria, the seamless, unspeakable. I want to say that's the ether. A E T H E R, which is the twin flame number 11. Hmm, let's see. All right, this illuminated space is a no distraction and pure potential is beyond the threshold. It is the silent meditative moment out of time, the centered and present place beyond the hustle of the mind and outside world. It is where all dreams are birthed and it is the light we may fear to be darkness when just for one moment everything ceases to exist. This is the place between worlds, the womb before we incarnate, and from here we can choose where we go. The land has been tilled in readiness for the flowers we wish to seed. Outdated doors have been closed, and in the space in, in, space in between the breaths, we open the new ones. What may be perceived as the endless black nothingness is actually 
the illuminated internal, the core that all our fears may be peeled back to. When we step through the darkness, we realize it is only a short distance away from the white void at the center of creation in heaven. Herein lies the feeling that we may have been striving our whole life to meet, and yet simultaneously, unconsciously running from. In this place of graceful surrender, we may know we are held and allow ourselves the spaciousness to drop deeper into the experience of our existence. Too elusive and mysterious to define, a knowing without words, the spaces in between life force energy. And that, I cannot believe, is getting to sit on side of the wisdom and experience and using your intuition to go within and to heal the movement that you wanted. Wow. Okay, guys. And we're going to get you an Archangel female Archangel card. And you are getting the Archangel Gabriel. Speak your truth. And she... is let's see number six i don't know why but i always think about gabriel because of the name as a guy and i really just looked at the car nope it's a girl she is a girl okay number six let's see all right archangel gabriel whose name reflects divine strength serves on the white and crystalline ray of harmony, purity, and communication with his counterpart, Archea Hope. Oh, it is a guy. Okay, well, let me tell you, when I met the archangel that I met, he looked like a girl too, but it spoke like a guy. So, Gabriel, also known as J-I-B-R-I-L, Gibral, helps us tap into our emotional strength so we can be real with ourselves and others. His vast presence is like a mirror that reflects only our truth. If you have children or work with kids, ask Gabriel to help you best cater to their needs. More, more sensitive and psychic children are incarnating and they require extra attention. Allow the next generation to become your teacher. Knowing that as you connect with your children, you're honoring your inner child too. Tune into what your inner child needs, what they wish to give you, and how together you can truly grow. Invite in Archangel Gabriel for balancing emotions and conception, childbirth, parenting, and adoption, creativity through writing, purification, psychic, emotional, and environmental and development in the sacral and navel chakras. Rise like an angel. Writing with your inner child. This cathartic exercise can heal the root of emotional pain and emotional vacancy. You may also find yourself more playful and buoyant afterwards. Gather some paper and a pen then ask Archangel Gabriel to sit with you. Breathe in his crystalline ray to inspire greater honesty and understanding. Close your eyes and imagine your inner child steps forth. Notice their age, mood, what they are carrying, and other meaningful impressions. Invite them to write right through you what they're ready to share. Reassure them that you'll listen as a compassionate observer. Take a breath in and read their message. Now write from your heart in response. Swap the pen over as many times as feels best. Stay heart-centered to enjoy this space of acknowledging and sharing truth. 
Know your emotions don't define you. Yet by listening to them, cycles of destructive behavior related to them can end. Give love to your inner child as you resolve to make peace with the past. No matter what happened, you don't have to live there still in your thoughts, feelings, and behaviors. Ask your inner child how you can honor them in your day-to-day -day life. Then close by giving each other a big hug. As you think, Gabriel, notice how different you feel. And in your blessing, it says, with hands on your heart, say aloud three times with conviction. By listening to my needs and following through with what supports me, I uplift the world. By listening to my needs and following through with what supports me, I uplift the world. By listening to my needs and following through with what supports me, I uplift the world. Guys, if this reading resonates with you, please give me that thumbs up and consider subscribing. I post daily, daily messages from your angels, as well as my short shower readings. And don't forget my haunted mirror or my spooky stories, my spooky ghost stories. Um, if this uh, strikes your little heart, right, I am always here. And guys, I bid you namaste, my friends. Enjoy.